if I wasn't doing this for a job, I would probably be doing this for a job, yeah. I think there's a type of person, whether you're, you're uh, cuddling a woman or you're sitting in a hairdresser's chair, I'm always picking to see how things are finished. Whether it's um, a nighty or a leather seat, I'm always trying to find the intrinsic detail of how they finish these bits. And I take that with whatever I'm doing. When I look at a kitchen or buying something for myself, I like to see how it's made. And that's just the way I am. And um, this is a really great way to be feeding that sort of addiction. Um, when, when I go anywhere and I see an old race car, the first thing I look at is the seats. And that's very little interest to anybody else. There's only one seat, there's no headlining or some visors in a single seater. But I'm turned on by that, how they've done stuff. I'm not interested in the engine, how it goes around the corner. I like the look of these cars, but um, really I'm a bit backwards that way. I just like the interiors and I'm really passionate about that, nothing else. I'm probably up the, the very sharp end of learning now. In the old days, if you asked me that, I would have told you 99% of trimming was getting yourself out of the shit. And it's not like that anymore. So I, I rarely make, I don't make mistakes. And I can trim something in my mind before I've even entered it into the sewing machine. Uh, knowing how materials behave, react, how they stretch before you even start a job, you know that you cannot do that job in leather. It has to be done in vinyl. All that is is knowledge. There's no book out there to say, don't do that in vinyl, son. The project has to turn me on, really. I've trimmed so many Dino's Daytona's 275 short wheelbases now. Something like that um, Louvre Tour de France or this Bentley challenges me. And I like being challenged and pushed a bit further and uh, doing jobs other people will probably turn down because of the knowledge or how vulnerable they could be on the job. I love stripping out a car, um, taking all the old interior out, even if it's been retrimmed two or three times, we can tell how many times a car's been retrimmed by how many screw holes there's been, sort of where the original one was. You might see three holes around it where the door panels have been put on different times. When a panel has been trimmed and the material wrapped around it and then cut with a knife, sometimes you can see the operation has been two or three times, so you can see how many times a door panel has been trimmed. Still finding original materials on a car, inside the arches, where you can peel a piece of material back and find out that that was vinyl. When bits of material have been painted over, you can see the different colors of the car. And I like to find out originality, and we'll, we'll put that into our archive upstairs on the different models of the cars. So we've got a really good, we can ascertain how they were when they left the factory. You can't learn trimming really by being told how to do it. You have to be hands-on and you have to screw up. And you see a lovely interior, but with any metal worker who's working on a wheel in aluminium, you never see the pile of uh, metal behind him that he's thrown away because he's, he's ballsed up a wing or done a bad job. And it's the same with trimming. Some things don't go right and that's where you're learning. That's where you're building all your knowledge up. And um, there are, there are certain challenges all the time and we're always being looked at and scrutinized by any other trimmer. So we've got to keep our standards up and we're doing a tonneau on that Bentley behind you. There's no patterns for that. So we, we would look at it and to see how they would have done it originally. It's got a steering wheel sticking out of it. How was that incorporated into it? Did it stick out like a, a castle wall? Or So we'll, we'll ask all those questions, the easy points to do it, how we're going to fix it. Um, and then the big, big question is originality. We'll scour any photographs of that car, any other cars, and um, look for signs underneath the wood if there's any been any drill holes or how, how it would have been. For us, this is all we've ever done. So if you're doing perfect letter writing or you're an accountant, it's all you've ever done. So I, I do what I do, and I think there's very little skill involved, and I can't understand how everyone can't do it because it's just so natural. 
and when there's a wrinkle in a piece of material on a hood, I just know how to pull it to get it out. And I guess that that is a skill, but it, it just doesn't feel like that to me or to my guys. It's just straightforward language speaking. My name is Robert O'Rourke, and this is O'Rourke Coach Trainers.